Hey folks, what's going on? Peter Scott here, Scott Realty Consultants and search sacramentohomes.com. I'm here with your quick Sacramento real estate market update for June of 2021. Hope you're staying cool out there. It's supposed to be hot this weekend. Well, if you've been following uh, any of my videos or the market at all, you know we've been in unprecedented territory for the last year and a half with the pandemic. And, and our market was crazy before that, but it's just been bananas. And that just continues. Prices continue to increase. Inventory continues to stay very, very low. And that's what's just driving everything going bonkers these days. But there has been a bit of a slowdown in the frenzy. You know, I mentioned it last month in my, uh, in my update. Um, you know, I, my, the analogy I used, if you're driving, we were all driving 150 miles an hour now we're driving 140 135 miles an hour and what that means to me is that i'm seeing houses sit on the market longer you know houses that aren't all selling in three four five days they're sitting for a week two weeks three weeks um really that's a lot of it has to do with price i think buyers are getting fatigued at these these uh, you know crazy prices that that we're at right now um and i think that sellers are also getting really aggressive with their pricing or, or, or getting you know a bit greedy and pricing too high um you know as realtors it's, it's always a bit difficult in this market to price a home your your comps might say you're at six hundred thousand dollars but your gut tells you someone's going to pay 650 so where do you you know where, where do you price that at and some people want to say okay i think it's going to sell for 650 so we price it there and then no one looks at the house or if you had priced it at 600 it might have got offers and it might have sold for 625 or 630 or 650 or whatever so um that's what i think the slowdown is maybe buyers getting fatigued in the prices and and, and sellers trying to push it too too high so if you are selling a home you got to be careful where you price it at don't get too uh don't get too aggressive there with the pricing. Now, let me show you some quick stats here. And thanks to uh, Ryan Lundquist at the Sacramento Appraisal Blog. Uh, where do you go? So this is pretty interesting. This is the amount that, that buyers have paid over the list price here. Um, so three hot areas are Folsom, Elk Grove, and uh, Roseville, obviously. Um, so the big one here is fifty thousand uh, dollars, almost over. And that's in Elk Grove, which that's kind of like one of the, the hot spots there in Elk Grove, the, the newer area with the nice schools, and then Roseville. So that was almost fifty grand. Roseville is thirty-five, and then. Um, um, uh, yeah, and then Folsom's 35 there as well. So, um, you know, in average about 20, 25,000, but you know, as I, the caveat is every house is different. There's some of these people, some of these homes, people have paid nothing over the asking price. They paid under the asking price and some of them, someone paid a hundred thousand dollars or more over the asking price. So every house is different, but buyers always ask, how much do we have to ask over? Well, the answer is it depends. Uh, next off here, this is a, a graph showing inventory. So sorry, this is a little bit low here. Let me skip over to this next one. This is days of inventory. So currently, right now, we're sitting about 19 days of inventory. You know, previously a, a, a normal market for us was you know three to six months, then it turned to one to three months. Now we're we've been at less than a month for for several months here. And then lastly here, this is the uh, median home price for the Sacramento region at 565. So if you are shopping for a home, you know, you kind of got to expect, you know, um, be somewhere around $500,000 in the Sacramento area. Now, certainly there are areas where you can find a house for three or $400,000 and then, you know, it goes up from there, but it depends on what you're looking for. So be prepared uh, for that. Um, but you can see this trend line here just going up and up and up and up and up, especially the last uh, couple of months here as inventory has been crazy low. So let me uh, jump over here. So I hope you guys are finding this helpful. Um, you know, if you are thinking about selling a house, now would be a great time to capitalize on this market. I've had a lot of sellers been doing that. I've been very happy with that. And if you are looking to buy a house, well, then, then things have calmed down just a smidge. It might not, been, might not be quite the crazy frenzy that it was, you know, three, four, five, six months ago. Uh, you know, I had a, a client make an offer in a house um, in Natomas, it was 650, and there's only three other offers, and all the offers were right around 650. Now, my clients didn't get this house, uh, but I was very uh, uh, enlightened. To, I'm sorry, what's that word? In, enheartened? Enlightened? I don't know, whatever. I was happy to see that there were only three other offers and not 30 other offers. And they were, you know, the agents didn't say they had offers that were $50,000 over. So that, I'm seeing that's more common where there's going to be just fewer offers, maybe a little bit less competition. So if you are listing your houses, maybe instead of getting 20 offers, you might get five or 10 or whatever so still very hot still a great time to sell uh, but if you're buying a house it should be a little bit easier these days love to help you out with that i want to be your real estate resource reply to the cmo let me know how i can help you out i hope you guys stay safe take care